So this, this section talks about applications specifically to exponential decay. Exponential decay. So uh, what we're going to be doing here is we have um, P it stands for population. T is the time. So when we say dp dt, that's the rate. That's the rate for the population. Um, so call it population rate with respect to time. With respect to time. With respect to time. It could be going up or could be going down. If it's going up, this means there's a population growth. If it's down, population decay. So it's the population is either increasing or decreasing. And we have, we introduced what we call it in mathematics, a differential equation, because this has derivatives. dp dt, that's a derivative of p with respect to t. Equals negative kp. K is a constant here. K is a constant and is defined in this case the birth rate minus the death rate. So if the birth is more than the death, then, then the constant is positive, then there's a growth. If it's less, so it's like less people are, are uh, uh, we have less birth than death, like more death, then the number of population will decrease. So assume in this case, in this section, that K is positive. So this tells us that negative k is negative, right? Negative. So this means negative kp is negative. This means the dp, the, the rate of population is negative. That's why there's a dk for this section. dk means dec decrease. Now this differential equation the equation that I wrote up there, dB dt equals negative kp, and we use calculus to solve for it and get a solution. Has a solution. P of t equals p sub zero e to the negative kt. <clears throat> e to remind you is about two point seven. E is two point seven. P0 is the initial population. Means at time t equals 0. So, because we have e to some power, this deals with the exponential. This is an exponential function. So, the right-hand side of the equation is the exponential function. And since there's a negative on the top and k is positive, then that's called exponential decay. And the exponential decay, graphically, it shows this way, t and uh, f of t, or p of t. And when t is 0, you get p sub 0. And it's going to go down this way. So it's coming from the top down. That's called exponential decay.
to apply this as an example. So we have a, a chemical or physical sun's decay. Uh, this element has a decay rate. They tell you has a decay rate of 14% per day. The rate of change of an amount capital N capital N uh, of this of this radio radioactive isotope is given by dm dt equals negative 0 0.14 n notice how where this number is coming from first the negative indicates it's a decay and, and they said that in the problem and 14 percent is 0 0.14 n so this is saying the rate in mathematics this means the rate is is proportional to the amount n is proportional to the amount n part a find the function that satisfies the equation and they letting us know that let n sub 0 represent the amount at t equals 0 So this should be straightforward application. Remember, uh, we had I'm I'm on I'm gonna write this on the right side. When we had dvdt equals negative kp, the solution was p of t equals p e sub zero e negative k uh, kt, right? Like from before here, this box equation. So that's we mimic that solution to apply to this given differential equation. So d n d t equals negative 0 0.14 n then we need to find a solution to this it's n of t instead of p there's an n p sub 0 p sub 0 here means n sub 0 e to the negative k what is k here k is 0. Point, what is it 0. 0.14 n that's all we have to write down. Part B, suppose 1000 grams of this uh, chemical thing or element is present at T equals zero. How much? How much will remain? How much will remain after 10 days? So what they ask us to do? So they want us to find n of 10. What is n of 10 when t equals 10 days? Actually, wait, uh, the n on the top here, sorry, this should be t. It's the time, right? It's time. So what's n of n of 10? n of 10, we need to find out that by substituting t equals 10. 
t equals 10 into the formula we got. We have n of t, we found it's n sub 0 e negative 0 0.14 t. So n of 10 would be e negative 0 0.14 times 10. And n sub 0, what's n sub 0? They said when t equals 0, the amount was 1,000. That's n 0. That's n 0. Make sure you understand how I'm setting these things up. And if you put that into the calculator, that would give us n sub 10, about 246.5969 grams. Or what was that now? Yeah, grams. Next part, find the rate of change of the amount after 10 days What they ask us to find rate of change that means n prime what is n prime after 10 days well to do that we have d and dt it's negative 0 0.14 and that's a given So d and dt equals next 0 0.14 n what is n um, n is given as n0 n0 let me put it here which was 1000 e negative 0 0.14 times t then d and dt equals when we multiply this number by a thousand it becomes a negative 140 e negative 0 0.14 t stays the same guess what the d and dt that's the same as n prime of t They want us to do it at 10. Calculate this, evaluate it at t equals 10. And now we need to put that into the calculator. So what this is saying, after 10 days, the amount of this thing 
is decreasing by about 34.524 grams per day. After how long will half of the original one thousand gram remain? So to do this one, we started with n of t, we had 1000 e negative 0.14t. That was the equation we obtained earlier. We're asking to find how long it's going to take the amount to decay to half. So that you started with 1000, how long is going to take that 1000 to become 500? So to, for this final amount to become 500, so it's going to be like this, just substitute 500, I've been writing n here instead of t, and 500 for n of t. Now we just need to find out what is the time that's going to take for this amount to decay to half. If you divide by a thousand both sides, That will give us one half equals e negative zero point one four t. Then natural log of both sides, because that's the only way to solve for t by hand. And what you can do on the left side, you can rewrite this natural log of one minus natural log of two equals bring the the negative 0 0.14 t down natural log of e natural log of e is one so this is zero natural log of one is zero and natural log of e is one remember i'm solving for t so we divide both sides by negative 0 0.14 So then t equals natural log of 2 over 0 0.14. And we need to put that into the calculator. Make sure you calculate this on your own as well. Not just take mine. Make sure you're getting the same answer as mine. So t is about 5, five days. Everything is in days in this question. For this half-life, so there's a theorem about the half-life. The theorem about half-life states that the decay, good to keep in mind, decay rate, which is K, and the half-life, let's call it capital T, are related as K equals natural log of 2 over capital T. And that, that's what uh, we just did. Or you can say a capital T is natural log of 2 over K. This, this, this equation matches this. That's what we exactly got. Also, sometimes they can ask the question in a, diff in a different way of an initial amount or initial amount 
of 10,000 grams of that 210 how how much will remain in 90 years provided that this that 210 decays at a rate of 3.15 percent per year So what did they give us? They said the decay rate, decay rate. What is that decay rate? That's the K. So K is given as 3.15%. To convert that to decimal, no percent, you just have to divide on the calculator 3.15 divided by 100. Or you move the decimal point to the left two steps, like so. You can try it. That's the decay rate. That's K. What they are asking us to find. They want us to find the amount, say N. N is the amount. Let N of T be the amount. After T years because now everything in years in this question. They said the initial amount, so initial amount means they give us N sub zero of T is 10,000 grams. And they said after 90 years, how much is gonna remain? So it's decaying, that's why it's remaining. So they want us to find N of 90. What does that equal to? To handle this, we found, we know N of T, it's N sub zero, E negative zero point zero one three five uh, three one five T. That's K, remember K goes on the top. And N0, it's given to us as 10,000 E negative 0.315 T. And they want us to find N of, N of uh, 90. So N of 90, you just substitute T equals 90. And you can put that straight into the calculator or do some calculation like so. 10,000 keep it as is. Calculate the stuff on the top here. That gave me negative 2.835. Then, if you put this again on the calculator, this gives me about 587.2 grams after 90 years. That's what is going to be left. From the 10,000 after 90 years is going to go down, decay down to 587.2 grams. From 10,000 grams to 587.2 grams. If no questions, we have another another example. The amount of carbon fourteen. These are all chemical like chemistry elements or chemical elements present in animal bones. After 
t years is given by p of t equals p sub zero e this will be given to you negative zero point zero 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 one two zero nine seventy a bone has lost 25% of its carbon 14. How old is the bone? Okay, uh, how do we start with this one? Uh, they give us the equation P of T equals P sub zero, that's the initial, one, two, zero, nine, seven, T. So it says um, it lo has lost 25% of its initial. So originally it was like 100%. So it lost 25, so 100 minus 25% of the initial P0, so that's 75% of P0. So this means, this means P of T, P of T here, the P of T became 75% of P sub zero equals, the right hand side stays the same. And we are required to solve for T. To do that, we divide both sides by P sub zero this is 0 0.75. If you put that in the calculator, 75 divided by 100 equals E negative 0 0.30 zeros, 120970T. Our goal here is to solve for T. And to do so, we must do take L on both sides, natural log of 0 0.75 equals natural log of E to the negative 0 0.000. .000 one two zero nine seven t keep this the same bring the negative zero point zero 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 one two zero nine seven t down natural log of e natural log of e is one so it's gone then t in this case would be natural log of zero point seven five divided by negative zero point zero 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 one two zero nine seven And all we have to do now is put this on the calculator. So T will give me, if we put this in the calculator, two, three, seven, eight years old. For this section, one more example in mind. They sign a contract. That guarantees. Fifteen million dollars salary eight years from now. Assume 
that the money can be invested at 4.5% with interest compounded continuously. What is the present value of that year's salary? So let's start working on this. They give us, they talk about compounded continuously. We use P equals P sub zero E to the negative KT what is K here K is the 4.5 percent if you convert it to decimals is 0 0.045 the initial amount of money is 15 million, so it's 15 followed by three zeros, uh, six zeros. And the time here is eight years. All we have to do is substitute all that information into that formula, P equals P sub zero, 15 million. E negative. K is 0 0.045 and T is 8. I strongly encourage you to take out your calculator and calculate this. To do so, the first thing we do, we multiply the exponents. Okay, I hope everyone tried it. I got, I personally got 10,000, uh, 10, 10,465,145. Okay, now let me comment more on this. Let me comment more on this. Usually for, um, Compounding continuously, we say P equals um, or final amount ERT like this per R here is K. So this is the initial amount. But what happened is what happened is this what the question is asking us. Is asking us about if you read it again what is the present value what is the present value of that one notice they talk about 15 million so the present value is 10,000 uh, 10 million so it's gonna grow up in eight years over eight year period it's gonna grow up to 10 million something so why there's a negative K in there why negative K well because this supposedly to be p sub zero equals that because p sub zero is the initial amount and p is the final amount so the final amount is going to be 15 million so that that would be do you see what i'm changing now look so you can get it p sub zero that's we're looking for p sub zero the present value not the final value so the present value Is the one we just found 10 million 465 but over um, eight year period of time with a, a 4.5 rate that is being paid that will make or take that money and let it grow from 10 point you know 10 million something thousand into about 15 or to up to 15 million up to 15 million
Anyone has any questions about this?